Today, we will talk about the top 10 best places to visit in Egypt. Egypt, with its history and beauty, both natural and artificial, will never cease to amaze you. Throughout its long existence, Egypt has been home to the greatest of civilizations and attractions, both modern and ancient. Keep watching the video to experience fun-filled historical cities, cave systems, ancient tombs, libraries, and the hidden treasures Egypt offers. Number 10. White Desert The White Desert is a unique and breathtaking place. It is the only desert in the world that is completely white due to the limestone rocks on the surface. The White Desert is located in the eastern desert of Egypt, near Farafra Oasis and Siwa Oasis. The white color of the desert comes from its limestone rocks full of holes and crevices where water has seeped through for thousands of years. Over time, these holes have become larger and larger until they've created giant cave systems under the surface. These caves are known as karst formations and can be up to 20 meters deep. The largest cave system in this area is called the Great Cave, which allows visitors to explore it with a guide. The White Desert also boasts many impressive dunes, including one called Sand Mountain, which stands over 300 meters or 1,000 feet high. Number 9. Dendera Dendera is located in the center of Egypt on the west bank of the Nile. It is a city with a history that dates back to 3200 BC, and it was one of the most important religious centers in Egypt during the Ptolemaic and Roman eras. Dendera is known as the Sacred City because of its many temples and sanctuaries. The Temple of Hathor, which dated back to the New Kingdom era and was built by Seti I, is one of the best preserved temples in Egypt. It has been studied extensively by scholars who have made several discoveries about its structures and decorations. The temple has a unique layout, including an inner sanctuary constructed within a pylon or gateway at its entrance that leads into an open court surrounded by columns that may have contained statues or shrines dedicated to Hathor. Number 8. Alexandria Alexandria is the second largest city in Egypt and the largest city in the Mediterranean. It is also a prime tourist destination, hosting over 4 million visitors annually. The city was founded in 332 BC by Alexander the Great, who made it his capital. The city has many sites of interest to tourists, including the Bibliotheca Alexandrina and the Library of Alexandria. This library contains some 700,000 books and manuscripts dating back to ancient times and many modern books on medicine and science. Another popular tourist attraction is Pompey's Pillar, a column that stood outside Caesar's Palace in Alexandria. The pillar was built by Roman Emperor Trajan around 100 AD to commemorate his victories over the Parthians. The city also has many museums that display artifacts from ancient Egypt, such as statues, tombs, and mummies. Number 7. Siwa Oasis The Siwa Oasis is one of the most remote places in Egypt. It's so far away from Cairo that it can take up to four hours to reach by car. The oasis is near Libya and the Mediterranean Sea in the western desert. It's surrounded by dunes and palm trees and is home to about 50,000 people. The most interesting thing about Siwa is its history. The town has been around for thousands of years, but its most famous resident was Alexander the Great. He visited Siwa back in 331 BCE when he conquered Egypt for Greek rule. The best time to visit Siwa is during winter from December to February when temperatures are milder and the region can be explored without too many crowds. If you're looking for somewhere off the beaten track and with an authentic experience, then Siwa is your destination. So far, would any of our picks be worth a trip? Keep watching to learn more about Egypt's capital and pyramids. Please click the like button and subscribe for more adventurous travel content on Fly the Atlas. Number 6. Luxor or Valley of the Kings Visiting Luxor is a must-do for any travelers to Egypt. Luxor is a remarkable destination situated in Upper Egypt along the banks of the Nile. From breathtaking attractions such as the Valley of the Kings to ancient monuments like Karnak Temple and Memorial Temple Hasiput, this city offers an unparalleled cultural experience unlike any other. And for thrill seekers, do not miss out on the opportunity to ride the clouds and take a hot air balloon ride to get some breathtaking views from above. Be mindful you will have to be up at the break of dawn. The Valley of the Kings is one of the most famous places to visit in Egypt and is located on the west bank of the Nile across from Luxor. 
and was used as a burial site for pharaohs during the New Kingdom period from 1550 to 1077 BCE. Most of these tombs are located within a narrow valley that opens into a wide plain known as Deir al-Bari. Though there are more than 60 tombs, many have been damaged by earthquakes or looted over time. Only 22 tombs still exist today, many of which were discovered earlier this century by archaeologists like Howard Carter, who found King Tutankhamun's tomb in 1922. Number 5. Cairo Cairo, the capital of Egypt, is one of the oldest cities in the world and a major cultural center. Cairo is home to many museums, including the Egyptian Museum, which houses King Tut's treasure, the Coptic Museum, and Islamic Art Museum. The city also has several mosques, including Al-Hazar Mosque and Al-Hussein Mosque. The Citadel of Cairo is an 11th century fortress popular tourist attraction in Egypt. Saladin built it during the Ayyubid dynasty. The Pyramids of Giza are the three pyramids on the outskirts of Cairo that were built more than 4,500 years ago as tombs for pharaohs Khufu or Sheops and Khafre or Shepren. The Great Sphinx stands nearby as well. Number 4. Karnak Karnak is one of the largest ancient religious sites in the world. It's also one of the most spectacular temples in Egypt, which makes it a must-see for anyone who plans to visit the country. Karnak Temple Complex consists of several massive stone structures and obelisks, but it's best known for its enormous hypo-style hall, or Hall of Columns. This hall contains 134 columns, some as tall as 60 feet, each with an individual capital and all carved out of pink granite. The hypo-style hall was built during the reign of Thutmose III and Ramses II, who ruled during the New Kingdom period. It was a gathering place for people during festivals honoring the gods Amun-Ra and Mut Isis. The walls are decorated with scenes depicting battles between gods and demons, which were meant to scare away evil spirits that might try to harm humans or crops. Some parts of the Karnak Temple complex are still being excavated today. Archaeologists believe many more rooms are yet to be discovered inside this massive structure. Number 3. Urghada Urghada is a city in the Red Sea government of Egypt. It is one of the country's main tourist centers and the second largest city with about 350,000 inhabitants. The town is also a major center for water sports, including windsurfing and kite surfing. Many tourists come to Hurkata for its clubs, bars, and discos. There are also many nightlife venues such as casinos. The city has over 100 hotels and 300 restaurants catering to tourists. Tourists can also enjoy many water sports activities, including scuba diving, snorkeling, and jet skiing. The Hurghada International Airport serves the city and connects it with several domestic and international destinations, including Cairo, Abu Dhabi, and Dubai. Number 2. Aswan Aswan is one of the most important and beautiful cities in Egypt. It lies on the southernmost point of Egypt near the first cataract and is considered one of Egypt's new seven wonders. Aswan is also known as a gateway to Upper Egypt. It is a charming city with many attractions for visitors, both historical and modern. The city has been inhabited since ancient times, and it was an important center for trade in Nubia, which extended from Aswan northward to Khartoum in Sudan. The Greeks called it Sine, or Elephantine, meaning Elephant Island, reflecting its importance as a trading post for elephants captured in Nubia by pharaohs who wanted tusks for their ivory. Today, we call these animals hippopotami. Aswan has been an important location throughout history due to its proximity to Africa and its rich natural resources such as gold, granite, marble, and sandstone in Luxor. Number 1. Sharm el-Sheikh Sharm el-Sheikh is a resort city in South Sinai, Egypt. It is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the Sinai and Red Sea Riviera. The city is famous for its beaches, nightlife, and scuba diving. There are also plenty of options for water sports and other fun activities. Sharm el-Sheikh has been a tourist destination since the early 1960s when it became a popular place for divers attracted by its beautiful coral reefs and underwater caves. Today, it's also home to many luxury hotels and resorts. As you can tell from our picks for the top 10 places to visit in Egypt, the historical sites here are awe-inspiring, and the beaches are beautiful. In other words, it's impossible to leave disappointed. Which pyramids do you think are more interesting, the Pyramids of Giza or the Great Sphinx of Giza? Comment below and let us know what you think. Don't forget to like our channel and subscribe to more amazing places on Earth. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.